Hi, I'm Jessica Amir for the Finance News Network. Joining me now from soon to list New Zealand dairy and nutritional powdered product manufacturer and exporter Ketone Dairy Corporation is Chairman Bernard Kavanagh and CEO James Gong. Gentlemen, welcome. Hi, Jessica. Hello. First, over to you, James. Just tell us about the company and a little bit about your background. My name is James Gong. I'm the CEO and founder of Ketong Dairy Corporation. Uh, I was born in Guangzhou, China, and I moved to New Zealand in the 1990s. So I both educated in China and New Zealand. I have 15 years experience in the dairy industry. Before founding Ketong, I've been working in resident dairy company for 11 years as the uh, head of sales for Asia. Uh, we are built our unrivaled business network. So James, the company's achieved quite a lot. Can you tell us about the key highlights? Yes. In 2013 May, uh, we start building the uh, first purpose-built plant in uh, Christchurch of New Zealand. By the end of 2013 in December, we attained the RMP certification, which is a food safety program uh, under New Zealand government. So by May 2014, we obtained the CNC registration, which is a uh, certificate to export to China. Now just tell us about your products and where they're sold. Our product covers retail and, and industrial markets. For retail product, we have kiwi food milk powder, skim milk powder, whole milk powder. We have uh, colostrum milk powder as well. We have a very niche product called face clear product for health supplement, which is sold in Europe as well. So our products supply to local supermarket in New Zealand and also export to the supermarket in overseas by large into China. And James, what excites you about ketone? There is increasing demand of, for the New Zealand dairy products for a market like China, year on year. And currently, ketone is building a purpose-built facility. The new facility will enlarge our capability of product volume as well as product capability. So with this new facility, we will increase our productivity as well as expansion of our product range. Most importantly, Ketong the Future Success is about nurturing, continuing our global sales network and leverage our deep understanding of Chinese market, as well as maintaining our long-standing customer relationships. And Bernard, you've had a very impressive career across the industry, holding executive positions at Warnable Cheese and Butter in Saputo. What really excites you about this industry? The global dairy business continues to grow and uh, it will grow at an increasing pace, particularly in China and Southeast Asia in, in the coming years. There will be lots of opportunities in the uh, dairy, confectionery, bakery, uh, nutritional, nutraceutical, sports and other, other sectors. Ketone is perfectly well to position to pursue those opportunities. Now to your IPO, just tell us what you're offering investors. We're offering investors the opportunity to invest in a small but fast growing company that's going to uh, significantly increase its market share in China and Southeast Asia. And where will the funds go? The funds will be invested in capacity where Ketone will significantly increase the volume of products it is able to supply into those fast growing markets. It will also invest in capability, technology and people. And Bernard, just tell us, how can people get involved? People could uh, visit Ketone's website or contact their broker. Last question, Bernard, what do you attribute the future success of the company to? The Chinese and Southeast Asian markets are growing at an incredible pace. That'll continue in future years. And uh, Ketone is perfectly positioned to capture new opportunities. It has in place the uh, management team will have the skills and capability to, uh, to make the business a success in the future. Bernard Kavanagh, James Gong, thank you so much for the introduction and good luck with the IPO.